Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL today. Today's unboxing is not a true unboxing because I had this for quite a while, but I'm gonna show you what it is. And I actually bought it pre-love. It is a brand new item, but it comes at a very reasonable price. I had it authenticated obviously because if you buy from the pre-love market, always try to get it authenticated, even if you purchase from a renowned resellers or consignment this is constant slim in the epson black ladder and i've always wanted another hermes product in the rose gold hardware so i managed to get the rose gold hardware and if you see the sticker was actually peeled off because i peeled it off as soon as i got it simply because i have a very bad experience with my rose gold hardware on my Birkin 25. I'm gonna show you. I actually left the sticker on for over six months. And when I peel it off, as you can see the corners, the four corners, it has been oxidized. So that is a very common thing for rose gold hardware, for someone that has a rose gold hardware on a Birkin or a Kelly. Just keep a close eye on it because if you leave it on for too long, it will get oxidized. And from what I know, the rose gold hardware is very, very notorious for that oxidization. And it doesn't hold as long as gold hardware or even palladium hardware. As you can see, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it unless you change the hardware. And um, that is what Hermes advised customers. There's nothing you can do about it if you don't peel it off. As you can see, I'm going to show you the one on the... I do apologize. Maybe it's better on this one. You can see the four hardware has been oxidized as well. Not as, it's not as obvious as this one. And also the lock. You can see on the H, just inside the H, it has been oxidized. Simply because um, if you're aware, the lock actually has that curve inwards with the logo H. And that is why it has been oxidized in that locations. So if there is an uneven plate, it will probably get oxidized much quicker. From what I heard, the constant, the plate is actually even, so it's unlikely to get oxidized as fast as, let's say a Birkin or a Kelly, if it's rose gold hardware, but I don't want to take that chances. So as soon as I got it, I peel it off. And this is in the rose gold hardware constant slim and it comes with the pouch rose gold but the pouch itself it's not actually rose gold it is gold hardware and you can see the difference the constant slim is basically just one compartment inside it does have a let me see if i can show you a back pocket and a front pocket and let me just show you the back as well. There is a slot here that you can use it as a belt back. And you can definitely fit in quite a few amount of your cards. And for comparison purposes, just before I do that, I actually purchased this from Etsy website. And what I can do is my intention was actually to put this in. And I can use this as a very tiny crossbody bag. And I purchased this from Etsy and it is amazing. But for comparison purposes, for someone that has a Zoe wallet, for someone that has the classic Chanel flat card holder, it's just a little bit bigger than that. And I do have the bifold. This, I believe, it's the six inch bifold trifold. I do apologize, trifold Chanel wallet. 
so that is an actual wallet six inch so in terms of the length and the size it's the same height and it's probably the same thickness but it's just that the length it's I would say it's less than five inch close to five inch for the constant slim once again thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions or comments please do so in the sections below